All right, now that we've gathered our flowers, we're gonna start prepping them for drying. Um, these hydrangeas, I'm going to dry flat. I'm actually going to clip them off of their stems and dry them flat. The zinnias are going to be put in silica gel, so they are fine as is. I might clip some of the stems off if I left long stems. The chicory, I might, I might try to dry flat. Last time I dried it in silica gel, it didn't go as well. Silica gel is best when your flowers are like big and thick, girls. Um, <laughs> yeah, so when you have thick flowers, lots of petals, it's the best time to use the silica gel because it can really draw that moisture out of there. Um, these are also like, I don't know if you can see just how like deep they are, tall. There's a lot going on here. And so the silica gel will get in all these little nooks and crannies and really draw out that moisture the way we want it to. Otherwise it would just rot. Um, since these are so flat, I mean, they've got a little nubbin. Let's see, come on, come on. There we go. There's a little bit of depth to them. I'm trying not to mess up the flower. Um, but I think they'll dry flat just fine and look the best. The other ones I tried in silica gel, it just crisped the petal. Oh, come on, come on camera. Focus on my hand. There we go. So when I tried to dry these in silica gel before, it crisped the petals before the center was dry and you really want it all to be very, very dry without being so brittle that you touch it and it just falls apart. So I'm going to trim the hydrangeas and then I'll show you how I dry my flowers flat. All right, now that we've got the hydrangeas all ready. Now these are also blue, but they dried on the plant and so some of them have a slightly blue hue and the other ones turned kind of greenish, greenish brown, and I dig that actually a lot. I don't know if the color is gonna change once they dry, but I'm interested to find out. Crafting is such a fun experiment. Every time, even when you've done something a million times, you really don't know what exactly is gonna happen in some cases. So here we go, look at that beautiful guy. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if you like flowers as much as I do, but I really like them a lot. So this is kind of something I geek out on a little bit when it comes to crafting. If I can craft with flowers, I pretty much do. Um, it's one of the my favorite things with resin work is that I can put flowers into the projects. And these are all flowers that I gathered from my yard. You know, um, This hydrangea I started from a very small clipping from my mother-in-law. Um, and it's just, it's going strong. So it's a lot of fun to see how it progresses over time. Yeah, that's gonna dry really, really nicely. And this little guy might seem sad because it only has a few petals, but I can always t remove the petals and just use individual petals. Now the key to drying flowers that works for me when you're drying when you're pressing them 
is to get a big, thick book. In this case, I'm using the Reader's Digest Book of Gardening. No pun intended. You need it to be thick and heavy um, so that it can press, really press those flowers flat. And what I'm actually going to do, because I don't want to ruin my book, I really like this book, I'm just going to lay a piece of white paper, just a regular piece of computer copier paper in here. It also tells me where my flowers are. There are plants, because sometimes I dry greens. I actually got some ferns drying right now. <laughs> and you just want to try to get it as flat as possible. to cover and very carefully close the book. Alright, and then we will hmm, probably should have done this the other way, but say lovey. Another piece of paper. Repeat. You're sitting on my book. Probably would have been easier to do this backwards. In fact, I'm going to do this the intelligent way for a change. All right. Yeah. Brain power. Woo woo. going to put something heavy on top of this and let it sit for a couple of days until they've dried uh, and I'll check them in two days to see how they've done and then every day after that um, until they're completely dry. And All right I've got a shallow container with a light layer of silica gel in it and then we're going to bring in the flowers. The zinnias specifically. So I just put these in like that. Tuck that underneath there. Don't want them to touch. I may have too many. those in. I think I'm going to layer. I've got two more flowers. It's not a big deal if I don't get them in. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and pour some silica gel over them. Perfect. All right. So this won't take long at all. This will take a cup, a day or two max. Um, maybe the thicker flowers might take three days, but I will come back when I'm ready to pull them out of the silica gel and show you what they look like. All right, gonna check on the zinnias. See if they are dry enough to remove from the silica gel. I'm going to start 
in this corner. I don't know. That's a tough call. Was that the big one? That is the big one. It feels pretty crunchy. Shaking out all this silica gel. <coughs> If this one is dry, odds are most of them are. It feels pretty crunchy to me. Color faded a little bit, but I still think it's pretty cool. It'll look cool in some resin, that's for sure. That's for sure. Yeah, I think we're good. Awesome. So we excavate some more. Found another one. This one became two toned. Nice. It's interesting. Can you hear the crinkle? She's pretty dry. on my hand. Another beautiful zinnia, perfectly dried. Colors are a little funky, but I like it. All right. Another one. This was after two days of drying. Now, my silica gel was freshly recharged, which some you can do. Um, some of them you can recharge by applying heat to soak up any moisture. You, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a pinkish hue when silica gel is charged. Uh, it has these blue crystals. See how this looks bluer? Um, so as the silica gel absorbs the moisture from whatever you're drying out, when it turns pink, it needs to be recharged. Uh, and I usually just microwave it because it's silica gel, it holds a lot of heat. So I think the discoloration occurred because the silica gel, when I poured it on, was still warm. Not hot, but warm. So that may have affected the coloring I'm relatively new to using silica gel. Yeah, and there's another one that's discolored. I think that's exactly what happened. I still like them. I'm still going to use them in projects. It's just something for me to be aware of in future silica gel applications. Oh, the big one. This one dried a little flatter than it was, but she dry. Random petal. And another petal. It really is like a scavenger hunt. I feel like an archaeologist or something. This little guy turned a funky color. Come on. Focus on my hand. There it is. This one turned a funky color. But, yeah, it's kind of brown. I'll still use it. Oh, I popped a petal off. And I crunched a petal. Okay, well, maybe I won't use it. some of this out. I think that's what I'll do. 
make excavating a bit easier, especially because I double layered some of this. Make sure you get all the silica gel off, or as much as possible anyway. That one turned out really well. Yeah, hardly any color loss at all, except for maybe a little bit close to the middle port, middle part. Middle port? It's not a port. Yeah, some of these definitely got a little burned. Look at that one. That one's kind of cool. Burning eight and all. That one turned out really well too. This one, this one definitely saw some better days. Golden parts on camera look golden, but in person they're more of a brown. Might still be able to use it though. Can't let my flower babies go to waste. This one's a little rough. On camera it looks so much nicer. Come on, focus. There we go. It looks more yellow on camera than the brownish tones it has in person. All right. How you doing? That one's all right. I can dig it. Petal hanging by a thread. Eh, could be worse. Note to self don't put dry or don't put warm silica gel on the flowers. Don't make the same mistake I did. Learn from it. Ooh, that one looks good. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say two days was just the right amount of time for these guys. Oh, look at that one. Come on, focus. Focus. Mwah. It's really pretty. It's a little bit paler on camera than it is in my hand. But I dig it. It's a very pretty corally pink color. Ooh. Come on now. Come on now. There we go. Look at that. Very pretty, although I think it's focusing on my nail. There it is. There it is. Ooh, one's giving me fall vibes. I may have just found a use for this guy, or thought of a use. I think that may be all of them. That doesn't seem right. Let's try pouring more out. All right, that's it. Got silica gel everywhere. There we have it. The result of drying zinnias in silica gel.
or at least this attempt at drying zinnias in silica gel. I've done it before um, a few times and various other flowers also. So there it is. Hope you liked it. All right, it's finally time to see what the pressed flowers look like. It's been three or four days since I flattened them in this book. And there they are. Looking cute and flat. And I can't wait to use them in resin projects. Those are still wet. Those are the chicories. They didn't turn out so well. I don't know that I'm gonna use them. So, there they are. That's all of them. They are dried, they are pressed, they are all in their glory. I hope you enjoyed watching me dry some flowers out for various purposes with using various means. And I hope to catch you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.